all passengers on Rose Delta Airlines Flight 1187 with non-stop service for Anchorage to board through the doorway gate C6. Here's our first look at Anchorage in the morning. What time is it, Diane? 7.45 in the morning. Anchorage time. There's a mountain over there, but I don't think we can really get it yet. It, it'll be better when the day clears. This is the view from our hotel room. And we're standing out here in our bareness. In our pajamas. <laughs> in all our beauty. <laughs> and it's snowing. Yeah, that's like the sound and everything out oh, there. Can you see oh, that? Oh, yeah. It's like, I don't know what sound it is. I forget. I don't know what sound it but is it's either. It's frozen. <laughs> I see a sound. It's a very quiet sound. <laughs> hey, where are we? Here we are in Anchorage, Alaska. We're whizzing along the Hi, road. Sam. We're going to go to the yes, glacier. We're here with Anne. We're going to go risk our lives in the avalanche. Sue. Sue. Oh, oh, that's that's no, that's Sue. Sue. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe yeah. somebody. Here we are. <laughs> the mountains are to the left of us. Yes. Water behind. The mountains are to the east. Cloudy day. Looks pretty desolate, doesn't it?
the guy who was on the well, work release program. Yeah, where were we? Kansas. Kansas. We can talk Kansas. 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 I'll we never forget Kansas. it. <laughs> I'll never I didn't think any could think Someone of Someone right ran over your leg. <laughs> it's, it's very humbling. It really is. This, is. this is stronger than we are. It's that bigger than right all here. of us. <laughs> and I don't see any birds. Explain why we're stopped here. <laughs> I wouldn't know what to tell you. It's an avalanche up ahead and they've closed the road. That leads to the glacier. Oh, sorry. Uh, Bummer. Wish you, you're leaving what? We didn't go to the glacier. We decided to go to a crummy Alaskan bar. <laughs> and drink crummy Alaskan liquor with crummy This is Alaskan called <laughs> wild turkey. Job. <laughs> <laughs> look at the whole, look at the, it's look at all the business, business cards. Business cards oh yeah, but it, it goes down. Yeah. Slippery, hang yeah, on. Oh, really okay. big. Really. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Alive is what it says. <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, there was a live snake in there, but then this guy got to go a hold of him and he died. We have to have a pose here. I'll do them all four of you. You won't go down. Yeah, come yeah. down, Liz. Open at 2 p.m. It says. Smile. Smile. Do something cute for crying out loud. <laughs> like Liz Oh, let's be Eskimos. Oh, gross. <laughs> Pew. I don't God. even like her. Yeah. Okay, it says that it's. Basic little log cabin. Anybody home? They have American Red Cross blood <laughs> donor cards here. <laughs> Timothy DeMoss, Mom is a registered blood. wolf hybrid. Dad is a doby. <laughs> I know. Do people really come here? Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah. It's jammed. Sorry, Sam. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Stick bumper stickers up there. <laughs> There's our vehicle.
Yeah, as if we didn't know. I like that sign. It said windy. Windy, yeah, that was a good sign. <laughs> It's a very unusual front of the train. As you can see, these, these rotor blades would go along the track and clear the ice and the snow away. We got our map. Yep. Got our receipt. Got our receipt. A now pay we... zoo. Are we spoiled or what? I know. <laughs> you have to pay to go to the zoo and you have to be sure you wear your boots because it's needy to a giraffe out here. Not, wow. not your normal day to go to the zoo. I haven't seen a single animal. <laughs> <laughs> Seal feeding times 11, 1, 30, and 4. May not feed the animals. What animals? We haven't seen any animals. Oh, oh and a cat. an animal! This is your kind of weather, isn't it? Oh, you're exquisite. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, Diane, you got your bald eagles up here. Yeah, I love eagles. I went out and saw them up in the at the dam. <laughs> That's got more. This is the bobcat. Look at the. These are all native animals to this uh -huh. area, I guess. Yeah, and look how he's paced himself a circle eight. <laughs> over and over and over. Beauty baby. Mm -hmm. The stories that I've heard, he looks pretty hairy. Harry? Oh, you mean he's not bald? He's not bald. Does, or unless they put two pays on him in the, in the zoo. I don't know. <laughs> cosmetic. He had cosmetic surgery. <laughs> it's hard to tell how big they are in the camera. Oh, yeah, but I bet oh, the wingspan's got to be great. Yeah. Huge. I mean, you know, there's no <laughs> relative, there's nothing relative that I can... But, you know, that's... Pretty relative. The box he's on is probably 
Uh, he's at least a foot wide. Would you say at least a foot wide? Oh, now that's a little uh, exorcist action. He can turn his head all the way around. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Move that passage along. Come what here, guys. Come on. Think faster, bases. <laughs> You're responsible for the tempo. <laughs> yeah. Move out. And I always love the baseball. They make us sing slap. <laughs> they make us sing slap. <laughs> said, why don't you tune high? <laughs> what a novel thought. <laughs> That's a musk <laughs> ox. I'm good. Better than I thought. <laughs> Yeah, but this, how deep would you say the snow is here? I guess the snow's probably about three foot. Yep. Because it's above the railings of the, the whole thing. Did you get a picture of these woods here with the snow through them? I mean, this is... Yeah, great. this is... Isn't this incredible? Pretty neat zoo, actually. A battling brook. That's some cold water, folks. That lump is a bear. <laughs> it's moving. There's some reindeer on the hillside. See if I can get it. It's a big, huge crow. Now they have a lot of crows up here. Oh, he is huge. Snowy. <laughs> Did you get that? Yes. <laughs> Are you throwing snow at me again? Look at the snow. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> A new <Sorry>. fashion <laughs> statement. <laughs> new fashion statement. <laughs> it's a simply amazing new invention. <laughs> I couldn't get my thing. <laughs> I can't get anything to stay on. <laughs> Caribou. How are you? I'm a caribou. The stand by stuff. each other, so they look like the the guys in Doctor. In you can work so push me for you here. Llama. I think he needs some conditioner on his hair. <laughs> he needs something for his do. <laughs> really? He's been in a lot of snowball fights here. Go poop your do, babe. Thanks, really. Oh, my. Well, they supposedly make good pets. You've heard they make good pets? They, mm -hmm. There's a woman here in town that's got two of them, and their house pets. They're in her house. Okay. In her house? She uses them for a sofa when I she's not no busy. Idea. Take one heck of a litter box, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> I think my Snickers is a problem. Jeez. <laughs> you see him backing up to that? I mean, it would be like. This is a baby moose. Is this a baby moose or a big moose? Oh, baby. My sister, my my little my little sister, hi sweetheart. We have the same kind of nose. Give him a kiss, yeah. Kelly kisses moose. No tongue. <laughs> I 
actually have an eyeball shot. That would be good. Like the pelican's feet. <laughs> we did 15 minutes on the pelican's feet, Florida. Get a picture of that. Get a picture. My face. Hey, you want to come and be in the front row at our show? <laughs> Don't throw animals. Don't throw stuff at the animals. Hello. Oh, it smells good in here. It does. When you say stick your hand here, you think you're a birdie. Yeah, yeah really. Lunch? Yeah. Let's do lunch. <laughs> If we go this way, we go out. Oh no, I'm lying. If we go this way, we go out. What happened? We go out. What haven't we seen? Well, the, we go this way to go home. Are we lost in the zoo? This is the Aurora Borealis curtain. Five million glass beads strung by hand by the artist yeah. and seven it's assistants very, yeah. during a ten month period to create this work of art. We're strung more than six and a yeah. half miles of six and a half miles of beads. I hope the colors come out. Thirty-five thousand feet. Doing this, unloading ice. They're going to have an international ice sculpture contest. Toward the theater. is all set up for sculpture. Oh, yeah. I don't know where we're going, did she say? Uh-uh. That's kind of neat, isn't it? To the hotel so you can get a oh yeah, we're real close to the of, hotel. Is that it? Right straight ahead? Yeah, right here, that little That's our hotel. Yeah. That's our hotel. And this is the theater. And now we're going in it to do a sound check. Hope. We hope. The loneliness of an empty theater. Looks pretty good though. There's a nice balcony. Lots of neat pads that pull the sound down. Backstage, just did our a sound check. How was it, girls? <clears throat> How, uh, give, me a, give me a narration. Uh, well, we are going to sing on the front of this non-mic stage and the sound carries yes. very well. I went to the oh, back of the oh, theater. Oh, one thing I, had to, I have to show is that do we take our life in our hands or what? This is this is the edge of the stage, and it's about 40 feet down. 40. No. And if we fall, no, it's probably only about 15. 15 is enough. It's just enough, enough to break bones and yeah. stuff like that. So we have to work carefully because we're not going to have... Uh... Yeah. What's going on? It's almost 9 o'clock in the morning, and we're going to the Iditarod. And what is that? It's the doggy race all the way to, where do they go? They oh, go to Nome, Nome Alaska, Alaska. 1160 miles. Longest dog race in the world. Daybreak this morning was about 8 o'clock. Yeah, the sun came up and, around uh, 8. And all the little doggies were, were fighting and crying with each other. Yep. We can hear the dogs in the background. They're just throwing a fit over there. They want to go. Let's check it out. <laughs> Where is it? 
beautiful? Look at his face. He's beautiful. These are some of the entries. Let's go this way. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Little dog sled. Get real. That is great. But they said one year that a guy did enter with poodles just to make a statement. Oh, he didn't good. go the whole race, but he did go part part way. Mm -hmm. Went till his dogs quit. Senator Stevens, Mr. Gay, we're glad you've been with us to officially start the Iditarod. To welcome our sponsors to the start of the race, from Hampton, New Hampshire, the grand people from Timberland, from Raleigh, North Carolina, 
the great people from Pimlican Beef Jerky. Uh, yeah. Woo! All right. <laughs> Recognition given to the honorary mushers Victor Katongan and Henry, Henry, Henry Ivanov of Unicleet. The race is officially on its way. Starting in number two position is John Barron from Big Lake. John ran his first Iditarod in 1979 and finished seven times since. His best finish being 11th in 1986. Baron, a commercial pilot, is married in the fall. <laughs> Very colorful feet. All of John's dogs are bootied up today in red, blue, pink, green. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Well, John will be headed out towards his home. Five, four, three, two. One, go! Off and there running, are, John Barrett. Nothing's going to stop this race. We have number three, Diana Dronenberg of Willow coming up here next. Diana came to Alaska from... The trail goes across the Little Mountains, all the way up Levon across this river. And that's the Yukon River, the and then all the way to Nome, Alaska. And has been this is the view. This is what Shelly and, Di uh, Shelly and Liz heard all night long. This is from their hotel room. Here's, here's I was Sandy. really here. Here's Sandy I really was here. <laughs> here's 
standing in a mask. Don't let her fool you. It's only mirrors. Yes, it's done with mirrors. It's all it? done with mirrors. We've gotten to be very good packers. Look at that. We can get, now, Liz, you'll probably get another $500 worth of souvenirs in that That's suitcase, right. uh -huh. too. It's, it's, I have on this, in the screen, showing 9.55 a.m., and you know what That's that right. means? It's time Shop! to shop! Hey! Hit the shop till you drop. Okay, I gotta get my... Hit the shops. Right. They open at 10. Yep. They open at 10. We're gonna go down, boost the economy, and I... Like yes. Betty and Wilma say. <laughs> Okay, there's Diane. And we brought her airline ticket. Uh oh.